What up, YouTube? Um, I want you to hear something. Um, we'll call this Don't Pay for Sample Killers. This is part three. Um, I'm going to share this track with you. It's just something I've experimenting with, you know, so I had to do a test. The beat is not dope or nothing like that, but it's unique with how I came about it. So I'm going to let you hear the track. <laughs> All that came from this sample. Um, basically what I did was I took the sample and I put it into Ableton right here. So disarm this, disarm this, and disarm that, and play this. Now the cool thing about Ableton is you can take live, you can take audio. Um, what I did was I simply took this audio track, and dragged it straight into Ableton. Just dragged it in there. Um, once that audio is in there, you can. It's really cool. You can actually turn it into. A harmony you can change harmony into MIDI or melody into MIDI and that's really a melody but I took the melody into MIDI and I also did the harmony so I could get a different effect so let me let you hear the different things like this is the first So I played that lower and then I played then I um did this one. A bass. And then I took this old school like organ sound. that is the driving force the bass to support it and then I use these this um this funky organ I'm sorry I use this old school EP or, or electric piano um electric bass and then I took the um funky organ to add a little spice to it which is this now now the cool thing about that is whether you use a, if you use a machina or if you're using um, the the Renaissance, you can take that. I could transport these MIDI files into those and use whatever instruments from whatever plugin I want to as well. I decided to leave it inside of um, Ableton and then I export it as an audio file. Thus, that audio file gave me this right here. took that uh, with all the elements together made exported as an audio file then drug it right back into um the um renaissance and then once i had it inside the renaissance i just chopped it up so let's go away from that put an effect on that so let me go take that effect off so I'll go back to the main screen so you can kind of see how the pads was Like 
that. So I just chopped it up, put effect on it. I had some crackle, um, some vinyl sounds to make it sound like old. I could dusty up that sample a little bit more to make it sound more uh, organic, like it's a record, but I was just experimenting around. So I just wanted to show you that you can actually take audio, put it into um, Ableton, change that audio into MIDI, change the instruments, and come up with something new. Chop it up. Now, you don't have to worry about sample clearances. In some cases, it'll actually give you a whole new way of, of, of coming up with ideas, bass lines, and stuff like that. So, hats off to those cats at Ableton. That is an amazing thing. You can also do drums with it as well. So, excuse me for the video. Pretty soon I'll get the program that allow me to show you what I'm doing on the computer and show a live video with what I'm doing both ways. Um, just been a little busy, been a little too lazy, been doing, well not lazy, I've been doing a lot of things. I've been accomplishing a lot of things lately. But, um, let's go back to what I was talking about. Ableton Live 9 is awesome. Um, get the suite or get the 9 version is well worth the money. Um, because what it allows you to do especially as a sampling producer. So you could take live instrumentation, drum breaks, and you could take a, live, a, a, a drum break from a record, put it in there, take that audio, audio, switch it to MIDI, and Ableton will replay that drum break with fresh drums. So it's just another way to take your, um, your um, production to another level. Also, you can beatbox inside of that, and Ableton will take the It'll take all that, the kick, the hi-hat, and, 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 and the snare, just from you beatboxing and make it into a drum pattern, which is very, very cool. Especially those beatboxes out there that, that are really, you know, can really get it in. Can you imagine what Rizel um, from The Roots could do with this program? He can make all kinds of musical melodies because the dude is an awesome beatboxer. So you can hum melodies in there, and it will transform that audio to MIDI and have an instrument play it. Now, once you got that transferred to MIDI, you could take it inside of Machina, you could take it inside the MPC Renaissance, you could take it inside um, Logic, you can change the notes, you can fix notes and stuff like that to get everything precise. Um, a great way to get that, what's in here, out. Um, Ableton has always been a hot software. Um, I've always been a little intimidated by it because it does so much stuff, but I advise Go out there, get Ableton, download it. Um, you can actually download a um, trial version for 30 days. I say mess around with it. It's unique what you can do. Take an audio baseline and and then have it read. You no, know, then have Ableton replay it for you. This means you'll have to get a live musician in all cases and stuff like that. With a little bit of work, you can get those notes perfect and 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 just let Ableton play the joint for you opposed to you having to use the sample especially if you got a deadline you're trying to get it in and you're afraid that the sample may not be cleared you can have Ableton replay it now if you got your sample and you chop it up now when you make your chopped arrangement you can probably take your chopped arrangement put that in Ableton let that you know take that audio and transfer it to um, MIDI as well and you can change the instruments that way it's so many different things that you can do the the where you can go with this is, is limitless. Um, limitless, really, what you can do with this. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully the video wasn't too bad. Hopefully you got something out of this. I'm excited. It's going to be some cool, crazy-ass beats coming from me now because this just opened up my mind to a whole lot of other things. It's another software out there or a plugin out there that's amazing, that does some amazing things, but I'm going to talk about that one a little later. Just take your instrumentation and, and your, your production to a whole nother level. So thanks for watching. I know it's been a while. More stuff coming soon. Peace.